हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू ई कॉमर्स प्रोजेक्ट इन लाराविल टेन लास्ट वीडियो वी डिस्कस हाउ टू मेक लाइक यू मे ऑल्सो लाइक एंड ऑल्सो वी डिड लाइक अ सर्च फिल्टर इन लास्ट फ्यू वीडियोस इन दिस वीडियो वी कैन कवर लाइक यू कैन चूज दिस साइज सो ऑटोमेटिक ईयर लाइक अ प्राइज इज अ इंक्रीमेंट सपोज ईयर टू पॉइंट फाइव डॉलर सो वी नीड टू इंक्रीट लाइक अ नाइन सो प्लस लाइक टू पॉइंट फाइव सो वॉट एवर आंसर इज अवेलेबल वी नीड टू पुट इयर सो इन दिस वीडियो वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड दिस इज द लाइक वी नीड टू डू यूजिंग दी जे क्यूरी ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट दिस वीडियो बिफोर यू आर न्यू इन दिस चैनल अदरवाइज इन दिस इन दिस सीरीज सो आई वॉन्ट रिक्वेस्ट यू कैन सब्सक्राइब एंड प्लीज प्रेस दी बेल आइकॉन सो वॉट एवर कॉन्टेंट वी आर अपलोडिंग सो यू ऑलवेज गेट दी नोटिफिकेशन एंड यू कैन स्टार्ट इमिडिएटली न्यू थिंग लर्निंग एंड डू यू वॉन्ट टू बाय एनी स्क्रिप्ट सो जस्ट गो टू अवर ऑफिशियल वेबसाइट लाइक आर एर सोल्यूशन कोड डॉट कॉम इन साइड यू कैन बाय एंड डू यू वॉन्ट टू डेवलप एनी कोड इन योर साइड सो जस्ट कॉन्टैक्ट लाइक टेलीग्राम व्हाट्सअप एंड स्काइप सो वी कैन डू योर कोडिंग डेवलपिंग एज अ फ्री लांसर वर्क ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट नाउ सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू कैन ओपन योर कोडिंग आई ऑलरेडी ओपन माई साइड कोडिंग एंड जस्ट गो टू रिसोर्सेस इन साइड टू गो टू व्यूज इन साइड यू कैन गो टू लाइक अ प्रोडक्ट्स इन साइड यू कैन सी लाइक अ डिटेल डॉट ब्लेड डिटेल डॉट ब्लेड डॉट पी एच पी ओके सो लेट्स स्क्रोल डाउन लेट्स मेक सम जूम आउट सो यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड लाइक वेट इज द अवर कोडिंग देयर गेट प्रोडक्ट इमेजेस गेट इमेजेस प्राइस डिस्क्रिप्ट शॉर्ट डिस्क्रिप्शन गेट कलर्स कलर इन साइड नो ओके साइज इयर देयर ओके साइज इयर देयर यू कैन सी इट इयर प्राइज अवेलेबल सो वॉट वी कैन डू वन मिनट्स लेट्स मेक सम जूम आउट एंड आई कैन मेक प्रॉपर व्यू सो यू कैन सी इट प्रॉपरली here we can do like a data value data price whatever do you want to like you can do one attribute you can create so you are changing so we need to find out you are changing wise like price like a data price so here we need to pass like a this price so simple you can copy and you can put here but you always make condition if is empty so is going to zero otherwise is not empty so whatever you did so just pass here like this suppose is the price available so is going to price suppose price not available so is going to zero and also you can do like data price means that this attribute here you can pass like zero okay because of value you get so you getting the id but we need to get selected attributes so just create one class here like a get price like this sorry, sorry get size not price get size get size price okay i have created one class what we did first we have created here like a data attribute like data price and we have pass here like a zero because this is the select size it means is a zero and here whatever there inside database so we can put here and also we have created one class so let's scroll down so before scroll down we can check no any errors errors there so right now you see refresh no any error found okay like here changing so let's go back down inside uh, javascript coding so here our javascript coding so just you can do it like script and here you can do it like where sorry not where dollar and dot dot means we need to use a class name this region dot and which event we need to use like a change event and inside we can do it like a functions and here i can make like a where let's make a console log first so we can see it like if this event is calling cannot calling so just you can type like a hi okay now also here finish this semicolon wise let's zoom out so you can see it means zooming let's go back again refresh the page and i already open my spec elements so we can check is debugging working not working choose so you can see it here is high print so i can choose again so you can see it here is a two count suppose you can choose again so here you can see it like three count meaning about like a change event working very well now we need to get here attribute so just you can go to googles and you can search like a select inside option get attribute value value in jquery so anyone you can go let's find out because is a like option inside you can do it very easily but i can show you how to search inside google this reason i am doing otherwise no any reason so you can use this one also possible just you can copy this line and you can put here 
okay and here you can create one variable like price so let's console log this one now here i can do price okay now option selected and which one this means that this is the class name and what is your attribute data dash price so our attribute name data dot dash price let's go back again we can check it is working not working and i refresh the page so let's go to downs and just change so you can see it like price is coming 2.5 so i go to selected so you can see zero is coming meaning about like attribute value you get why i did using google because i need to show you how you can search inside google this reason select inside option get attribute value jquery you can type like this also possible this reason i did google otherwise i know how we can do it okay so let's dance and you can see it like first we have get option selected comma like this means that this is the class name after you can type like your attributes like uh, events and you can pass here whatever key you use inside a option like a uh, here option sets data attribute this one okay so next point we need to get the price like uh, our price what is the our price so simple you can copy this variable and just scroll down and here you can create new variable like uh, where total i don't know whatever do you want to like the product price let's make a product price so look like a professional whatever do you want to like you can do your way and here you can put like a double quotes inside you can do so it's good okay i can get price now into sum like a total so where total so <coughs> we need to convert this is the in into the purse float okay this is i can't go to google and i can show you is better you can see it here okay just you can do it like a purse float inside you can pass like a this variable plus uh, whatever you selected this is the also you can do uh, why i am doing this uh, purse float i can explain so don't worry once i'll remove after okay so let's comment out this code first and i can make another line and i will remove this one okay now i can make here console dot log this is the any time you are doing calculation so we need this reason i am explaining without purse float and with purse float so you can understand better way let's go back again refresh the page here so just scroll down and you can change the event like a here so you can see 9.992.5 means first is a print like this value and after is print like a 2.5 meaning about calculation is not works because of he is not converting inside integer suppose integer as well float so this reason we need to use like a purse float so just make uncomment and we can make like this line comment okay let's go back again refresh the page and i just refresh so you can see it proper way now i change the size like a, so you can see 12.49 so you can see calculation working very well so that can go zero so is a 9.99 okay suppose here the we have did some other products i know which product inside a big i don't remember right now but let's go to anyone so inside is there 90 dollars inside yes here size big there so let's open and let's close this ones here i can change the size so 100 you can see 110 like here not there so 19 because is whatever back there this is the showing okay now we are getting here calculation so this calculation we need to implement here so here we need to use one id like get total price so just scroll up to price so let's go up now where is the price our price is here there price price if this is the get images get price okay here so here you can use like one span and you can put inside and here you can do it like a id get total price other dot get get total payable price whatever do you want to like you can do it get total price get total payable price this is the id you can provide other do you want to provide like class so also possible okay this is the your way just you can do here like a, i don't need this coding also i don't need this code so simple like a hash sign here i explain like class wise here i am explain like 
i device so you can understand easily dot html inside you need to pass like a total okay and just scroll go back and you can check it is working not working now just go to back again refresh the page here you can see it coding okay so let's go back again because this is the html inside we need to pass suppose input box inside we need to pass so we need to do like a val dot val so let's select here let's me search just to minimize so you can see it here okay you see 100 110 because if we for the 19 there so is 19 plus 20 so 110 here is a automatic go back 19 select size also going to 19 now you can see it here not found like a two floating value like a dot zero zero here see so same thing we can do it inside a javascript value suppose you are printing so it's doing 100 but here not found floating value so what we can do just you can use like a dot two fixed and inside you can pass like a two suppose you need to show like three floating value so you can pass here three suppose you can show like a four so you can pass here four okay let's go back again refresh the page and you can see it here let's see check you can see this is the reason i am explaining like one by one and step by step so you can understand every point how you can use it in your projects i know otherwise i will cover this task in within two minutes but i don't want to do like this i need to take like 10 minutes it's possible but you need to understand proper way okay i hope you can understand my points sometimes people thinking why is not doing fast but we need to do proper way these reasons so i hope you can understand about like calculation about this size whatever dollar you increment is automatic going to here plus sign okay so in this video i explain like a product size how to increment in main price in laravel okay and next video finally we can start like a add to cart which plugin we need to use in next video i can show you like a, this plugin you can use like a card and we can add a like color how we can add a like extra parameter color how to add like size how to add quantity what is the product name what is the like a price i can show you everything in next video okay i hope you can understand about this video and do you want to like this video so please like and do you want to see like this video more so please subscribe our channel and i again request please subscribe and please press the bell icon because we are upload lots of video but we are not get enough subscriber and please help me and please share your friends so he can learn and start new thing i know we are not getting more and more view but we are trying to develop good coding and you can start learning you can see it like one day is finished up but is enough view is not good view you know me no i think anybody can follow in the series so he understand so please share with your friend because we don't want to stop this is the reasons please 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 and thank you for watching error solutions